to another episode of The French are just relaxing and taking a break from the world. And as you can see, we have just, you know, casually done a lot of things in the last couple of years. We have, you know, kind of relaxed, building up our final in final army sizes. Um you know expanding the naval force i think we've expanded as much as we can and we still don't have enough for what we need but i know a way that maybe we could gain what we need to is there's a fleet over here i'm just going to completely disband it because it's full of outdated units and i'm getting tired of dealing with them so let's see if that helps that did not help at all because most of my ships are actually really advanced so you know it was worth a try to try to uh, see if we could pull one on them but AI is definitely smaller than they think, so let me try to upgrade all these ports over here. Maybe that will finally push it over the edge. And we can finally uh, just have an army of gigantic ships. Which would be really awesome. I really do think that. So anyways, as we finish up with our final moves of the game, we have, you know, Poland just being Poland, you know, creating its army of, you know, it's actually a reasonably sized army. You know, they aren't, the Polish, what what everyone can say is this, the Polish are not bad people. They are actually a pretty strong power in this game. And I'm very proud of them. Like, as a nation, the fact that they persevered so much and somehow I kept them alive this long, that is a, that is a showing of the will and testament to live. Okay, but, um, I'm finally, I'm getting a little bit anxious because I'm waiting for the, uh, for a war score to finish because right now my game is lagging up like um, a lagathon and I don't want to make this game become unplayable so I'm trying to wait for the next crisis to develop so that it will go me versus the Germans into this final battle of awesomeness which I think is what I want to do or you know if I can't battle the Germans then I definitely want to battle the Chinese you know it's gonna be one of those two it's gonna be the last battle of this game probably and, you know, it's going to be the third and the fightful, the third and fightful great war. The one that not even our universe has ever experienced. The one that will hopefully end our wars. Now, yeah. Now, that's a good speech. Now, I really wish that somebody would actually do something, because that was a really awesome speech. Apparently, Germany's being a jerk even more. What do they, what do they want? Um, free the Bunction Hessian. Why did you do that, Austria Hungary? You're gonna get your butt whooped. And I, I'm not saying that just to be like, n like nice or anything. That's you guys are gonna get your butts whooped. You have no one supporting you. Everyone hates you guys. And you guys think you guys could go after the Germans? That's not gonna work. You need at least somebody else as big as the Germans to fight for you. I mean, me and Italy could have probably done it because I realized the Italians could actually fight can actually fight the Germans, just not effectively. So, and Germany, as we can see, has slowly annexed a little bit of the small states, and becoming big and buffier is not what I want them to be. So, you know, it's almost like we have to fix this. Um, but I have to wait until a crisis goes. So I'm not going to just rack up the infamy, because... At this point, I'm gonna save all of that for when I'm gonna either break up when I'm gonna bring up Germany and the Germans. But I think during this episode, everyone, we should have some kind of crisis go. And I mean, look at this: the Ottomans are not keeping it together. Their land is splintering, is splintering up like anyone's business. And I don't think they're gonna be able to keep it together. And may I also add on that point? Yes, we shall attend. Um, the Indians are also becoming quite rebels. And I think the reason for that is because most of the land in India, which I I completely forgot to mention this, because this, this happened like a couple episodes ago, like two or three. The entire Indian land is completely splintered, people. Like, all of India is in complete and utter revolt. And they're actually in revolt for British fascism, which I thought was so hilarious. I was like, wow, that, fits, that is so funny. So Brittany... Is just having all these relations, and I would love to get relationships with the United States. The United States and France have been friends since the beginning, and how close are we to like overtaking those Chinese? Okay, we're coming really, really close. Now we're starting to like rival them again. Um, I mean, they they really get 
how is our wait how's our army leadership 85 8.5 i like that okay but we're coming really close we're, we're just a hundred behind now in terms of militaristic power that's good that's not too bad of a range and now we're starting to make those ships yeah we i feel like by the end of this game we will definitely be able to pass the the uh chinese in terms of militaristic power which is all we really wanted in the end and apparently the uh austrians are dealing with a white army i don't know are they ca are they fascist communist what are they okay they're conservatives and they're dealing with the white army i don't know i don't quite know what that is so i'm gonna assume it's something bad for austria and austria just oh man they're just they're like i I mean, if you go back to this let's play, you can just see the slow and utter decline of Austria. And I mean, I even have some of the old sketches of what it used to look like. And apparently, there was something I could have done with Sphere of Influence, but I apparently got knocked down. Um, these crises are about to form. I'm ready for them. I'm hoping another great power is ready for them too. The eternal crisis of Bulgaria. I'm not going to support the Ottomans. For heaven's sakes, Ottomans. I'm not going to support you. I'm supporting the, the fleeing of Bulgaria. Crisis over Libya. Seriously, is no one else... I, I swear, are, they have like six different... Yeah, they have like the English, the Russians, the Italians, uh, the Austro-Hungary. I mean, no wait, these are the guys. Germany, really, you don't want to deal with them? What if I could support this side already? I don't know. Well, I'm definitely not... I'm definitely not the guy for this job of of helping the Ottomans maintain the power, but I am the guy when it comes to fleeing Bulgaria. Okay. Fail to enlist internal interest. What? Oh my goodness. That's making me, okay. You know what? I'm almost had it for this game. And, uh, if we all see, okay, this is what my bet is. If we also get to, is this this nationalist? What are these? Polish flickoffs. Which basically means that those are the fascists trying to take over the Polish lands. The Polish seem to have it under control. But I was just going to say, if by chance I get all the way to zero infamy, and I still don't have that war I wanted, then I'm just going to rack up the infamy and just go to play war on them myself. But you know what? I want to make sure that this ending war is what you guys expected from an ending war. The best of the best, two pitted armies versus two pitted armies, whatever. We just want to make sure that this is going to be the war. Okay, and we got more and more men being made. How are we doing in terms of power? Oh, wow, we are so close to what the Chinese used to be. So let's see, are we actually going to be able to overtake them? Oh my goodness, we are so close. Okay. We are so close to their levels, and I'm pretty sure we're going to take we take them. And we're going to finish up with synthetic pollinizers, which will finish finish up our industry. That's going to be great. Lightened army, and hmm, seems like we have a couple of good nations. We got crisis averted, revolution in Jadapur. Hope that's not my land. No, in fact, it's the. Oh man, they even have some troops over here. Dang. Britain, Britain, what happened? Man, Britain just cannot control the rebels. I'm watching this and just like thinking, wow, yeah, you see, there's like 36, 36 men over here. The British, the British, I think, are in shambles now. We have officially like destroyed the British and their power and officially made it so that France's power reigns supreme. Yep. <laughs> That's what we wanted in the end. Now that's definitely what we want in the end, is to make sure that we supreme, that we reign supreme, but seriously, I'm waiting for, okay, the next, okay, so if the next rebellion becomes a Polish one, this one's, what is that even going to be? If it's going to be Austrian liberation, I don't think I'm going to even, okay, so now you guys are what? Okay, now you guys are fascist. Just stop influencing these guys. I'm done. I'm seriously done. They they don't even deserve my influence anymore. They are 
they are beyond saving in my opinion just beyond but yeah it seems like we are we are so close with the Chinese right now that it's impossible to think of that we won't like overtake them in like a couple days and Lombardi kaboom okay it's a good thing I made all those army men and have all these dreadnoughts ready to go and go kill people okay we got okay this one's not making anything so I'm gonna gonna help him with that by okay over here build some more cruisers yeah it seems like it seems like this is still the prep time for us to just build up as much as we can which is fine by me I mean peace is definitely something that was a, in my opinion a rare variety in this campaign I mean I feel like peace was definitely something that was not okay just increase our opinion whatever I'm not gonna help you guys though because you guys blew my trust I mean and I don't mean by blew my trust by one time. You guys blew my trust by so many times. I mean, I give you guys so many chances to try to help your nation, but yet you guys always consistently could not keep control. Um, maybe the fascists will actually be a good government for you. I don't, uh, I don't know, but I'm about done. <laughs> uh, fatly put, I'm about done. Shoot.